Good morning. How are you this morning? So today we are continuing on with the millionaire training, the golden principles that created the top network marketers of today. We are on page 215 of the um, success story of Jess Weisberg. So I want to um, first do our gratitude. I, I'm so grateful for everything that's going on in my life. I'm grateful for the people that are in my life. I'm grateful for my friends. I'm grateful to still be on this journey with Ellen and all of that. Um, I'm grateful for Yetta and for Lucretia and for Deborah and for all of my, um, the people in my ASEA family. I'm just so grateful to be part of this amazing organization. Um, I'm grateful for Beth for giving me the opportunity to, to excel and to shine. Um, even in the early stages when I'm doing it <laughs> a little rough. But anyway, um, so today I am doing my daily DMO. I am continuing to plug forward on getting all of these things in alignment so that I can really rock this, um, this business. There's been so many, there's been a little setbacks, but that's okay. That's what happens in this world, <laughs> especially today. Um, so with that, I'm going to go ahead and start the meditation. So take a deep breath, a deep breath of life. The Talmud says every blade of grass has an angel leaning over it, whispering, grow, grow, grow. That blade of grass will press through cement, seeking the light. And that same pull of becoming is on and in you. It is the spiral pull of becoming that is everywhere present in the universe, for the universe itself is ever seeking fuller, freer, expanded life. And you are part of this wondrous spiral of becoming. Your very DNA is a spiral. And you feel that pull to the more. Learning to work in concert and cooperation with the great laws of the universe. Open doors of possibilities that prior would have seemed completely impossible and only for the few, not you. But now, through your interest, your study, and your willingness, you're beginning to understand that not only is dream building your right, but your responsibility. For you have come here to give the gift of you, without which the fabric of creation is incomplete. For you did not create you. You can't even breathe you. You're being breathed by the great spirit of life itself, and something wonderful is happening with you right now. It is this thing called life. You've been given a mind and a body, emotions and spirit. You are spirit having a human experience, using the mind and body and emotions as your expressing field for what you ultimately will choose, the demonstration of the life you know. So in this sacred moment, Activate the faculties you have and know this, you are an image maker, made in the image and after the likeness of the one who gives you life, your mind thinks in pictures. Okay, so let's continue. Um, I hope you're having a great morning so far or day or evening or wherever you are in the world. So we are on page 215 for Jeff Weisberg. Now I'm going to start with the, par the paragraph that I finished with last night. However, sometimes when things get dumped into your lap, you have to turn a should into a must and you get better. I'm not saying that if it was, if I was still married to the mother, oops, <laughs> I'm on the wrong side. A problem today is that so many different versions of what to do it, as a great 
as great as the internet is for networking, it can also, it's also a negative. Today I can sit here at my home, you can sit here at your house, and we can have somebody sitting in Japan and we never have to leave. So your skill set, those muscles that you're building get weaker, but they can also get stronger if you're actually reaching out to people you don't know through the internet, especially in today's world with COVID. Mark and Larry hammered the fundamentals into us over and over again, and they worked. Why wouldn't you do what somebody is teaching you to do if it's still working? So, and I totally encourage everybody to go out there and to, to use that, use talk demo, talk to people, you know, get out there when you can, but do it safely. When I left Herbalife and went into regular business and then got back into network marketing, it really was so ingrained in my mind that I didn't have to even think it. I can sit here 36 years later and tell you the fried bologna sandwich story word for word. I can regurgitate it without having to listen to it again. Today, people are trying to learn too much without integrating any of it. This is so true. It becomes more useless information. Instead, focus on the basics that you get in the millionaire training. At the end of the day, it's not what you say. It's how you feel about what you say. You have to remember that whoever talks to the most people wins. All right. So get out there and it's how you feel about what you're saying, not actually the words that you're using. When you believe in your products and you're coming from a place of conviction and you're not trying to convince somebody of something, you're definitely going to win because people want to, they'll be interested in what it, what gives you so much passion. It's so true. I didn't understand that for a long time, but it is so true. Thanks to network marketing, I was able to be at home with my boys all the way through life, through high school. I coached 26 sports teams. I was one of the few dads able to volunteer in the classroom and go out on field trips because I was in network marketing. Because of Larry's concepts, I learned to employ myself. When my sons were four and six, I suddenly became a single dad. I was like a juvenile delinquent growing up. Such a terrible kid. My sisters and my parents were like, we've got to get these kids in therapy because they've got a whack job as their dad. <laughs> However, sometimes when things get dumped into your lap, you have to turn to a should, a should into a must and you get better. I'm not saying that if I was still married to their mother, that I wouldn't be a good dad, but obviously I'm a better dad than I would have been because I had to be the dad and the mom. Adversity causes your capacities to grow. As Larry's saying goes, for things to change, you've got to change. For things to get better, you've got to get better. Again, that's not herbal life, that's life. I'll share an example of implementing Larry's concepts during my life during a time, that time in my life. Since I was raising my boys on my own, I had to get disciplined. In the beginning, I didn't have as much time to work on my business. However, as soon as they entered school, I hit it hard. I'm following Larry's 10 pennies, 10 pennies and moving quickly. When they're out of school, I was with them. But after I put them to bed, I was on the phone again. Boom, those 10 pennies are moving quick, quickly again. Again, it's because of Larry's emphasis on being the best version of you and what that requires. Now my younger son is a senior in college and the other recently graduated college. I've learned a lot. We've traveled internationally together and we've been to events and he's been, they've been to events with me. I told them to go to college. I dropped out of college to do network marketing, but I told them they needed to be in college because of the connections and what they can learn. My boys haven't gotten to spend time with Larry. My boys have gotten to spend time with Larry, his wife, Taylor, and their lovely girls. They've met friends of mine from all over the world. They understand the network marketing arena. It's interesting because a lot of their friends, moms and dads are successful, but they aren't able to cope. They aren't able to travel all over the place because they're too busy working or building a business and they've got a high powered job and they can't leave. Thankfully, my boys were able to see that money's important, but time and freedom are more important. Yes, you've got to have money to do things, but you've got to have time to enjoy it. I didn't want my sons to see me putting off enjoying life until I was 70 or 80. You want to start enjoying life sooner than that. Now that my sons are adults, I see them implementing the things I've passed on to them from Larry's concepts. They're very outgoing. They're movers and shakers. They're leaders. It's because I passed on what I learned over the years, and it's made a huge impact in their lives. If you haven't already, find a company you believe in and put your head down and get to work. You need a product and an opportunity, but it's not about the product, the opportunity, or the company. It's the leadership and the people involved. And I have to say, we have one of the best. I don't know a lot about Herbalife other than what I've learned through, um, well, Larry is one of the top people. So 
I, I don't even know if he's still with the company, but I know our, our leadership, our founders, we have such an amazing company and I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. I've tried it. I, I just, I believe in the mission. I believe in these products. I believe in the ethos. I believe in you. And I believe that this is such a great opportunity because it's changing lives on the cellular level. Okay. Um, at the end of the day, compensation plans are compensation plans and products are products. The focus has to be on the leadership of the company from the top down. And we have the best. <laughs> Mark and Larry had one of the had one of the only companies I've seen in my career where the company trained you. They knew what to teach from their personal experience before Herbalife. It wasn't about starting a company and then teaching their people what to do. No, they already had experience and were already successful. So they drove it from the top down. Most companies today don't do that. You have, to, you have an owner who might be a CEO or a corporate guy, or maybe a formulator, a doctor, or an inventor or something. They're not marketing people. They might be business people, but they're not marketing people. This industry is called network marketing, not network business. This industry is called, net, or if you keep it simple, the millionaire training is remarkable, as relevant today, as, as, is remarkably as relevant today as it came out in 1981. Whether you sell skincare, weight loss, hair care, services, remote controls, whatever your company is, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what your compensation plan is. Follow the millionaire training because it's proven and it works for over 40 years. These concepts are not something Larry just came up with yesterday. You've got something, somebody over with over 50 years of experience in the network marketing industry. No matter what company you're with, stay focused on the millionaire training. I'm not saying don't get involved with your company and don't go to your corporate events and all that, but ultimately I believe you've got to get it. You've got to keep it simple. Right now, I go to on Facebook or Instagram, and there's dozens of people offering training. The funny part is, though, all of them put together don't have the experience that Larry has. Larry has been doing network marketing longer than these people are old. It's easy to get hooked by the latest, greatest shiny object or the fanciest, newest trainer or the guy that got lucky one time in a deal but never can do it again. Larry's concepts are constant. These are things that are not going to change another 50 years from now. We'll all be gone, but they'll still be going. If you follow the simple basics, no matter what company, what your company is, you're going to be successful. If you keep jumping from trainer to trainer, idea to idea, or technique to technique, you're continually going in circles. It's better to stay with the basics and master the half a dozen concepts. I'm not being negative at all, but I know how, I know many top people in this industry, not the road scholars, they're not road scholars. They're not PhDs. They're not professionals, yet they're still uber successful because they learned a handful of skills and did them repeatedly. Instead of learning 50 different skills and doing them once or twice, I have a story to amplify, exemplify that point. Back in 1981, or I'm sorry, back in 1991, I'm in Europe with Jeff Roberti opening up a company. We're going to meetings and doing some traveling. I went to pick up Jeff from his hotel and he wasn't ready yet. So I went up to his room to meet him. I got up to his room and on his little cassette player, he's listening to the millionaire training. The important thing to know is this is 10 years after those tapes were released and five or six years after Jeff had left Herbalife. There is a man who, is, who in 1991 has already put away $10 million and is still listening to the millionaire training, carrying it around with him in his bag. You have to remember, you can always try to get the latest and greatest, but the question is how much experience and how much adversity has the trainer gone through? With the millionaire training, it's nearly 40 years worth of experience. And as far as adversity goes, no company has been pounded harder than Herbalife by the Federal Trade Commission. If you look at the guys who are still around since the early 1980s, they learned from Larry personally and listened to the millionaire training religiously. They are still making seven figures incomes to this day. In July of 2004, I was with Jim Rohn Leadership Event. I was at a table eating lunch with Jeff Roberti, BK Boreco, Jim Rohn, Dennis Waitley, Brian Tracy, and Ally Brown. I was sitting next to Jim Rohn talking about my background and that I had been in Herbalife, involved in Herbalife in the early days. A discussion of Larry came up, and I'll never forget what Jim said. Larry Thompson is the best trainer I have ever met, I've ever seen. 
it br brought happy tears to my eyes. And then it brings happy tears to my eyes now. And I just feel so fortunate that we get to learn from this top trainer. He is incredible. If you, um, if you end up joining the Wealth Building Academy, you actually get on calls with him personally. You can actually reach out and talk to him and, and Taylor. It's incredible. He's just so down to earth. He's got good, good wisdom, you know, and he, he doesn't share with you what you want to hear. He actually helps you make the difference. It, he helps you grow. Okay. So um, I just, I really hope that you guys are taking this book seriously. Even if all you're doing is listening to this book with me, take it seriously. He is incredible. You know, if we can ingrain this training into our being, it will change everything for you. So Rick and Michelle Teague, top 10 distributor from Odair. Michelle, I started a network marketing industry back in 1984 when I was only 19 years old and working in a, at a restaurant in Houston, Texas. Late one night, a few Herbalife distributors walked in and we were, and were seated in my section. At the time, I was miserable. I was working two jobs and going to school to become a dental assistant. I remember thinking to myself a lot, what am I doing with my life? Because right now I'm not enjoying any of it. I grew up in a small, in a super small Southeast Texas town. It was a great little town to grow up, to grow up in. But the day after I graduated, I moved because I had the feeling there was something more for me out in the world. I just wasn't sure what. Even though I, it was super late when they came into the restaurant, there was something extra bright about this group. They were different from the usual late night dining crowd. They were fired up and having, and having just come from doing an Herbalife opportunity meeting. For some unknown reason, I was being drawn to their table because I wasn't super busy. busy. I'd find things to talk to them about. Finally, one of them turned to me and said, hey, have you ever thought about owning your own business? I don't know why, but I immediately responded, no, but that sounds great. <laughs> Two nights later, I went to an Herbalife Opportunity Meeting and signed up. My life hasn't been the same since. Long story short, I ended up moving to Dallas where I worked with Larry's niece, Leslie, and sister Tish Rochin. It made all the difference being around people like Tish who mentored me in every part of my life. After attending a couple of hours worth of train Larry's teachings, I learned so much. I didn't even know people could do what he was talking about doing, but I thought to myself, oh my gosh, anybody can do this. Even though I was only 19, I had worked in, in three restaurants and was going to school. This was not living. Every day was the same. Every day I had people telling me what to do and where to go and when to take my lunch break. Even school felt like prison. When Larry and Herbalife came along, I realized I didn't have to stay in a box. It was time to start finding out who I was and what I wanted. And I hope that you guys are doing that as well. Find out who, what you want and who you are. It's really, really important. What's your passion? So Larry is good at making sure other people understand that anybody in the world can have the same kind of success he has had in this industry. And it is so true. We can all have that kind of success if we just keep taking, making the effort. For me to realize this at such a young age was such a big deal. I didn't have a lot of money or skills, and I didn't even know what a sales profession was or the concepts it involved, but it was an eye-opening and exciting, thrilling, and crazy, and even a little scary sometimes. I remember thinking, who is this guy? How did he learn this? And, and how does he know how to get, go straight in and get right to the point? First, Larry is an excellent storyteller. He would always use a story to hook you in. I could tell you so many of his stories verbatim today just because I listened to them over and over again. Repetition was something Larry frequently mentioned. At his presentations, he often explained how repetition makes a, such a difference. The funny part was people weren't showing up saying, oh my gosh, we've heard this all before. People were going to hear it repeatedly because they knew hearing it again and again means it's going to work better for them and they will understand it better. Repetition moves in, moves it from our heads into our hearts and then from our hearts into action where what we actively do makes a difference. If something is just in your head, you don't have it. If you're a believer, your actions are going to show it. If you lift your weights to be responsible for your business. And this is true. I'm, I'm just, it's true with the SIA too. When we start using the products, we don't really have a, a belief in them. We, we know other people believe in them. And we might start seeing some differences right away, 
But for me, I'm pretty healthy. So I didn't see results right away, but I stuck with it because I wanted to help others that, that I loved. And it has been remarkable. I still don't know exactly what it's stopped for me, but I know, um, I know it's done a lot of things. So it's all about your belief. So lift your weights. I think we missed that point today when we go from podcast to podcast looking for something new, when we really want to ingrain in ourselves what we already know to work. That's why it's important to read the millionaire training over and over. And that's why I'm doing this, this um, experiment and doing it over and over here. At this time in my career, Larry's The Millionaire Training was included in the Herbalife distributor packs on the audio tapes, and I was listening to those cassettes. I would often make the three-hour drive back home, listening continuously to the training, or I would listen to the millionaire training right before I was about to present at an opportunity meeting. I listened to the training more than anything during that time in my life. That training always helped me in the right to get in the right mindset and kept me able to talk about what I was doing with others. Soon I started making as much money part-time as I was making, as I was, as I made working full-time anywhere else. What I was accomplishing at the age of 20 made me feel like this business was the right fit for me. It was no longer all about the money, but more about the mindset. I was focused and I knew what, what it is, what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. I loved the freedom and the lifestyle this industry gave me. I could live the life that I wanted to live and answer to my own rules. And that's another great point with network marketing. You get to choose what you want to do and when you want to do it. I knew it was important for, to me to get, when I got married, to start a family, that I wouldn't fall into this robotic, no life way of living. I wanted to see my kids all the time and be around for my husband as much as possible. So when I met my future husband, Rick Teague, who was in, who was an attorney, I remember thinking, oh crap, I don't want to marry an attorney. <laughs> a lot of my family and friends were thrilled. I was marrying a lawyer, but I was not super excited about the, that fact. I knew he was going to have to give, go into work every day, work long, crazy hours. I would, I never would get to see him and he would never get to spend much time with our future family. Rick, I was just tipping my toe into Herbalife when I met Michelle at an opportunity meeting in Dallas. We both had driven 200 miles to attend, unfortunately, from opposite directions. She was living in Houston at the time, and I was living in Stillwater, Oklahoma. I had my law practice in Tulsa. I would come to Dallas on occasion to pick up Herbalife products because it was the main distributor, distribution center for our part of the country. In what I call a, my former life, I spent nine years in college. <clears throat> and had not one, but two law degrees. I started practicing law as an oil and gas attorney in the early 1980s when the oil and gas industry was doing well. Business was excellent. I thought that was because I was smarter than most and worked harder than most. I had degrees in the, in the big ego to match. In the mid 1980s, all that changed. The oil and gas, gas prices took a nosedive and many of the smaller, newer companies that I worked with worked for started going out of business. You can guess what it did to my income. My dad was a college professor at Oklahoma State, and he had gotten into Herbalife through the whole different set of circumstances. He tried to get me to join Herbalife for the better part of a year and finally succeeded when my income and satisfaction with my legal practice kept declining to a point where I could no longer say no. <laughs> In short, because the oil and gas business was drying up, I was being forced to take a, long, take a lot of legal business that I had no desire to do mainly things like bankruptcy, divorces, traffic tickets, and criminal matters. When I joined Herbalife, I didn't plan on making a career change. I met Michelle and occasionally we started and occasionally started building my part-time Herbalife business around Dallas and eventually ended up getting a desk at Tish's co-op in Richardson. After that, Michelle and I started talking more and eventually I was mysteriously invited over to Tish's house. Now, since Michelle and Tish had to make sure that I was a Christian before I was officially approved as a suitor for Michelle. They both tricked me by asking me to come over to Tish's house to take a look <laughs> at her video cassette recorder, her v VCR, because it was broken. Within a few seconds after arriving and checking out the VCR, I immediately determined that there was absolutely nothing wrong with it. Further, I also instantly learned that this was a total setup when Tish, who was obviously and completely unconcerned with her VCR, turned to me and asked, Rick, if you died right now, where would you go, heaven or hell? 
In response, I told her the truth, which was that I would go to heaven because I believed Jesus Christ died for my sins and I was complete and consequently saved. To sum it up, I inadvertently passed Michelle and Tish's thinly veiled um, litmus test and was officially stamped with their seal of approval. Michelle, I was the first, I was the first lead to Christ by one of the herb, I was first led to Christ by one of the Herbalife distributors that came into the restaurant that night in Houston. After joining Herbalife, that person shared the gospel with me and I started attending church with them as much as I could so I could learn about God. It was at this point that I knew I wasn't going to date anybody unless they loved Jesus as much as I did. Rick, after passing the test, Michelle and I started dating and I began to take more notice of the work she was doing. When I joined Herbalife, I was not familiar with the network marketing business at all. I was hanging around with other Herbalife colleagues and was learning some tips and seeing their success. What blew my mind was seeing that there was one month where our upline leader and friend, Tish, made $93,000. I knew Tish worked hard, but I also knew she didn't have a high school diploma. It got me thinking. Here I was, a big shot white collar attorney with a large ego and nine years of college and two degrees and my law practice falling apart. And Tish, without a high school diploma, is the one making $93,000 in a month, in one month. I had no idea people could even make that much. It opened my eyes and my mantra then became, if she can do it, then I can do it. And for 35 years since, I've been trying to catch up with her, but still haven't (laughs) <laughs> still haven't as far as total lifetime industry earnings. Michelle, Tish and I have been working just in this industry together since we met over 35 years ago. I was living with Tish and in addition to building my Herbalife business, I was also Tish's assistant. So I frequently, I was frequently around the family working on things here and there. I began hanging out with Trish, with Tish, Larry and his daughters as much as I could. The whole family is super generous and grateful. And they lived a life very different than the atmosphere I grew up in. Everybody was positive and doing their best to help others be their best. I took notice of that. When Rick proposed, I began to think about our wedding day and what I wanted it to be like. For various reasons, I had become estranged to my stepfather over the years. And although I did have a biological father in California, I didn't have a strong relationship with him either. And that bothered me. To make matters worse, neither of them were Christians either. So when it came down to it, Larry was literally the only believer I could think of that had the qualities of someone I wanted to walk me down the aisle. However, I was also very nervous to ask him, mainly because I wanted to make sure his daughters were okay with it, because none of them were married yet. I remember him talking to his daughters and then agreeing to do it. I was so thrilled because I couldn't think of a better person who had changed my life in so many ways. Larry and Tish both had significant influence on my Christian life. Even Larry's teachings in person and the millionaire training on audio tapes interlaced with the gospel and the biblical doctrine. Having him walk me down the aisle was such a special moment and a real act of kindness. It's a great memory to look back on and reflect on, to think I had such a good man with a positive, loving influence in my life, walking me down the aisle. Rick, after joining Herbalife in 1984, we ran into lousy timing. With when CNN ran a negative story about the company in January of 1985, I didn't understand the importance of timing back then. Even though the company's situation at the time was much less than ideal, my first full month's check was $3,400, which at the time seemed pretty good to me. I ended up chasing that initial che- high check for three years, but could never recre- but never could recreate or increase my initial sale results. At the time in the company, Things were going in a different, weren't going that great for anybody. Michelle and I then got married in December of 1987. Two weeks before our wedding, I ended up leaving Herbalife and joining the NSA after take, talking with some colleagues who had joined the company a year prior. After joining this new organization, I was finally able to put all the training I learned at Herbalife to work for the first time ever in a really good timing situation. I simply started applying the wisdom I had been taught in my boot camp years. And things really started working like they were supposed to. Next thing you know, I, it was in just a few short months, we had 800 people on our team. And when I got my first, my first $6,500 check, I knew it was time to quit my law practice for good and to go full-time into network marketing with NSA. 
my time at Herbalife showed me people like Larry and Tish who were successful and it showed me the possibilities of what financial freedom offered. It was because of their example, I was able to make a 90 degree turn from being an attorney to staking my flag and becoming a full-time network marketing professional who has now been in this business for over 35 years. Michelle, <clears throat> you know what? I'm gonna um, pause here and we will pick this up tomorrow. Um, because I just want to, I just want to share some thoughts. I want all of you to think about this. What, what work was saying is he was with Herbalife. He was an attorney. He was an established attorney. He was doing really well. Things started to tank. He became, you know, he started working with Herbalife and he was doing, you know, he was finally starting to pick up momentum and then that tanked. Right. So then he got with the, the, comp the next company and he finally got in the right timing. I want you to know this, I, even though it's crazy times going on in the world with COVID and with everything else going on, this is the right time. Right now with what we have, it's starting to explode. People need what we have more than ever because it helps on the cellular level and everybody needs help on the cellular level right now. It's not, you know, it doesn't cure, it doesn't all of that stuff. You know, we know that it's not intended for, you know, to diagnose and all that stuff, but it helps on the cellular level. And we all need help on the cellular level, especially right now. So to me, there's not a better time in the world than right now to be where we are and with the company we're with. So I'm gonna leave you on that note. I will see you tomorrow. Have a fabulous day.